All right, hello everyone. My name is Reese, and today is May 16th, 2023. I'm going to be retrading on a paper trading account the micro NASDAQ uh, futures contract. Before we get into that, I want to say that I am not a registered financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and it is not a solicitation to purchase any securities or derivatives. Okay, so with that disclaimer out of the way, um, we're going to load up today's session starting from uh, midnight Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to paper trade one micro NASDAQ using ICT or SMT concepts, uh, starting with uh, 5,000 fake dollars. So here we go. So the first thing that uh, I'm going to be doing is marking out some levels that I think might uh, might matter so we're gonna have uh, sell side liquidity below here and we're gonna buy side liquidity here I'm trading the two minute chart, but you see I've got it set. I've got a whole bunch of different time frames to look at. Not seeing any entry signal here. Um, okay. So the goal is to get in sync with the market and anticipate what price is doing without being greedy, without being impatient. So basically you can see at this point in the day overnight, market was very choppy, very um, bound in a consolidation range. So we're anticipating that every new swing is going to fail. So we're longing below the lows and we're shorting above the highs. So no signal. I'll tell you when there's a signal. So pausing it here let's see what we can see now um, there should be orders resting under these lows which this would be where I'd want to get long Okay. All right, so here we've broken below the lows, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get long here. So we've broken into sell side liquidity here on the two minute, and let's see how this goes. If we go lower, uh, as we go lower, then our anticipation is going to be incorrect, and we're going to stop out. Okay, we're expecting price to bounce or, okay, at this point, I'm getting below this sell side liquidity, so I don't want to be, I don't want to give up on this just yet. Okay, at this point, we see that we tapped into this sell side liquidity over here and it looks like we're bouncing so I'm gonna bet that we at least take out the highs here at 55 evens nope okay so we're gonna stop out I'm gonna we're not gonna stop out just yet okay we take out the take out the buy side Okay, now that we have buy side up here, we're going to close that out. This was not an optimal entry. Um, we ended up trading all the way down to this external range liquidity over here. And we also traded into this internal range liquidity. Okay, coming back down. We're into buy side liquidity, and at this point...
looks like we might want to target up into the 7350s. Okay, let's see if we reject. I'm looking to see. I'm anticipating that price is going to reject. It's got multiple levels of buy side liquidity up here. And I'm anticipating that price is going to reject up there. Okay. Let's see if we reject. And at this point, it's looking very much like it wants to reject. So I'm going to take short. And see if we were a little bit early on it. We were a little bit early. It's coming back down. We see, uh, so what do we see here? We see that price came up and swept the highs and broke into buy side liquidity and ended up slipping all the way up to the 92 evens. And then we came back and rejected off this volume imbalance right here. So this is a volume imbalance here at 84 and a quarter. So now I'm expecting price to go lower. We're chopping. Price again rejected at the mean threshold of this rejection block right here. And that would come in at 82 evens. So now I'm expecting lower prices. I'm expecting at least a delivery to 74 and quarters potentially down to 65 quarters. Okay, we get a internal range liquidity low and I'm expecting lower prices. And at this point it looks like we might have bounced off the 50% consequent encroachment level of this order block. We see a little kind of micro order block right here and I'm watching that level and want to see if price is bouncing off that. It looks like it is. So I'm going to close off this short. And now we're see what price does. Okay, we're bouncing. We want to hold this. It's trying to hold this order block, and it looks like it is going to hold that order block. Okay, at this point, what am I thinking? I'm thinking that we have bounced off this order block here. At looks like our low came in at 69 quarters. So now that we've taken out this internal range liquidity and we bounced off the order block, I'm expecting higher prices. So I'm going to go long. Let's see how that plays out. Still expecting higher prices. An order block here that it bounced off of. Nope. All right. Looks like we have a market, uh, a market structure shift, and it looks like we came up. We wanted to test retest this volume imbalance and now we're headed lower so I'm going to close this out for a loss. So we're coming back to the order block and now that we're coming back to the order block probably going to be looking to get short on a green candle. Okay yeah see we jump past the order block now we're coming into the lower order block which is going to be right here. We're looking at the main threshold of the 50% point right there. Looks like it wants to try and give a bounce. So we're going to buy. We're going to be long at this order block and see if we can go deliver our external range liquidity, which is up at the 92, uh, 92 and a quarter, or if we can get our internal range liquidity at 85 and a quarter. So we're long here on the order block. Let's see if it wants to bounce. Okay, it's looking like it wants to bounce. Let's see if we can deliver a new high. All right, we bounced off. So. Our closing candle ended right at the consequent encroachment of this order block here, the midpoint of this order block here. Our wick, we wicked down to our low was at 62 evens, and so now I'm thinking internal range liquidity at 85 quarter. Let's see if that's right. Let's see if we can hold the low. Nope. So. Where are we now? Looks like we came down to 
about the consequent encroachment of this order block here. So I'm going to go hold. I'm going to hold on to this long. I'm expecting a bounce at this point. Okay, let's get rid of the darlings. And you see we came up to the consequent encroachment of this um, range candle and looks like we might be turning lower. And okay. So we bounced off of this order block here, which I'm highlighting. And specifically, we came down and let's see about the 50% mark. It's about 50% consequent encroachment of that order block. And so now that we've done that, we've delivered external range liquidity here. So this is going to be external range liquidity. And came down to this order block at this point. I'm expecting higher prices at least to internal range liquidity at 75 evens. But we've got two... Uh, equal highs so let's mark that out so we have equal highs above 85 even so I'm expecting us to get to 85 evens Let's see if it wants to hold it's trying to hold as price action forms here we came down we tested this order block here and we're bouncing so I'm expecting it wants to take out 85 evens and okay so 85 evens was a bit ambitious. We came up, we did take out this internal range liquidity. We got up to 75 and a quarter. At this point, I'm going to take a loss on it. So now we're down on the down on the fake session. Let's see if it wants to come down. The next the next level that I'm looking at is going to be down here at the consequent encroachment. Uh, excuse me, mean threshold of this rejection block. So my eyes are down here at 44 and quarters. See if we get that or if it just wants to bounce immediately. Okay, so we came down and this is gonna be uh, on our, I think our news release of the day. So we're coming down and we're hitting this order block here and we're bouncing so at this point I'm thinking higher prices we come down we make a new low but let's see where we close all right we're making new lows it's a little too volatile for me to want to be in this okay so we came down we delivered uh, this is going to be external range liquidity and it looks like it's trying to bounce off this external range liquidity down below 38 quarters. Let's see if it does want to bounce. Oh, we're making new lows. We're hitting new lows. Okay, at this point, big bounce. This is going to be uh, right on the open. And right on the open now, it looks like for sure. So we came down, we tapped the external range liquidity here. And now we're running higher. So now I'm thinking we're probably going to sweep. Kind of already know what happened since I was trading today. But um, at this point, now that we've touched the external range of liquidity, I'm thinking higher prices. We've got um, the consequent encroachment. I marked this out when I was trading during the trading session today. But at 71 evens, we've got this consequent encroachment that should want to fill. And then we've got multiple levels of buy side. So at this point, I'm getting along. So as we can see, uh, price just popped through this external range liquidity and now we're running. 
So I want to see what price does here because we're probably going to. We can see that we had a large number of market orders resting above this prior high sitting at um, 92 evens because price slicked through it. This is going to be now the opening bell. So at this point, I'm probably thinking about closing out this long. And we come down after our range high there. We come down, we test the come down into test about the the 25 percent level of this order block I want to say yeah just about 25 percent so that's a pretty good sign that we're, we're looking for high prices probably should have closed this out already and at this point I'm gonna be looking to close this out so what do we have here we have another sweep of liquidity here. And we came down and we bounced off the midpoint of this order block. And so now I'm thinking we're probably going to deliver higher prices. There it is. There's delivery. We're going to exit our position there. That's obviously, this is all simulated trading. Be difficult to do this real time. Things are moving quickly. We're we just got into our external range liquidity, and now we're chopping about. Let's go down to the one minute chart, and now we're coming into internal range liquidity. Let's see if it wants to bounce that. Yep, wants to bounce that, so we're going to buy that. So internal range liquidity bounce. A bounce off internal range liquidity here. So now I'm expecting higher prices and we've got equal highs. Got equal highs up above our uh, 33 halves, 33 50s. So I'm expecting us to get into this external range liquidity at this point. We just delivered, uh, just delivered sell side, and so I'm expecting buy side now. Go. Let's see if we can get delivery of buy side. Okay, we had delivery, and now I'm going to close this. Okay. Now let's see if it wants to. Now that we've delivered into external range liquidity again, let's see if it wants to turtle soup or if it wants to keep pushing higher. Okay, we're turtle souping coming down into the halfway of this order block. Let's see if it wants to bounce that. Nope. Coming down to the bottom of the prior range. We're coming down to the mean threshold of this uh, rejection block. So let's see if it wants to bounce that. Nope. We're pushing now back into internal range liquidity. Next level I'm looking at is going to be this order block down here. And let's see if it wants to dip into that and bounce. Okay, coming down into the order block. And we are getting a little bit of a bounce here. Okay, next candle. This candle right here is telling me, all right, so we basically closed at the midpoint of this order block around the 505s. And we did wick down lower, but we closed right at the main threshold. So at this point, I'm gonna go long. And again, I have the benefit of hindsight, folks, so I kind of know what today did. Uh, this is just reinforcing the concepts really for me. Okay, so we bought. Let's see if it holds the order block. I don't want to see it go below the order block. So now I'm thinking higher prices. Now I'm thinking we're at least going to the consequent encroachment. We have a uh, fair value gap here. So this is going to be a fair value gap so we expect price to trade through that and potentially deliver us new buy side Let's see if that is the case okay at this point created a new order block so I'm looking at this I'm thinking that's an order block um, we're traded up through the fair value gap it is okay trading through the fair value gap we deliver buy side okay delivered buy sides so at this point close that out and then I want to see what it does here 
if this fair value gap in this new order block can turn as So this would be an inverted fair value gap uh, with an order block here, and I want to see if price is going to bounce that or if we're going to come down to the lower order block. So the higher order block and inverted fair value gap is going to be, the midpoint of that is going to be around 31 quarters, and then the next one, uh, the midpoint of that is going to be around 21 evens. So delivered new internal external range liquidity, excuse me, never been up here recently. So external range liquidity and we're moving higher. Okay, we have an order block formed here. Not trusting that though, so we're coming to the first inverted fair value gap. Let's see if we bounce that. Looks like it does want to bounce that. Okay, at this point I probably want to uh, buy, but it's a, it's a little bit sketchy. I mean we're really to look at, we're looking delivery at not very far, but I'm thinking we're probably going to deliver higher prices here. But you know, where price is right now, we're at 42 and quarters, and we're we're looking at 48 quarters. So maybe only six point six point target. So I'm not going to take that, but I'm expecting it to deliver higher prices now. Okay, we go into our external range liquidity, and let's see if we turtle soup. If we break out, turtle looks like it wants to turtle soup. And so at this point, as we turtle soup. I'm going to take a sell as we expect lower prices. We're expecting price now at this point to at least deliver us this internal range liquidity down at 32, 32 evens. Let's see if we get that or if we want to bounce off the midpoint of this order block. Let's see if we trade through the order block. Okay, at this point we've delivered lower prices. We're at the inverted fair value gap. We're at this order block below price. Okay, we turtle souped off of our external range liquidity. So at this point, I'm getting nervous about this position. I'm thinking it's probably going to bounce at any moment. I see a bounce. We're going to close this off. Not necessarily going to get long immediately. Here we go. Okay, and now we see that. What do we do here? We trade off, trade through this inverted fair value gap. We bounce it. We come back and we test the uh, mean, basically the mean, close at the mean threshold of this nearest rejection block and so now now we're looking for higher prices now we're looking for a new high to be created so we are going to go long and let's see if we're wrong on that no so we come down to uh, kind of the, the the midpoint of this micro swing here I don't know if that would be called an order block I wouldn't call it an order block um, so now we're expecting we're expecting higher prices. We're expecting a new high. There it is. Okay, we get our new high. Price delivers a new high. And at this point, we need to be out of this trade because we're expecting, you know, on this current market environment, we're basically expecting every new high to fail. Okay, coming back down. Not seeing anything at the moment. Price looks very efficient. Not seeing any trades. Not seeing anything I want to take. Still not seeing it. Okay. And we deliver internal range liquidity. Let's see if we can get up to external range liquidity. I don't think we did. Our high here was uh, 54 and quarters. And I don't think we got above that. No, we, we paired it. But we did not break into external range liquidity. And we've got a fair value gap formed here on the one minute chart. You can see that here it kind of looks like it could be a breakaway gap and now I'm thinking lower prices but I don't know if I want to trade this pretty aggressive to trade but I'm thinking lower prices I think we're probably gonna break these equal lows down around the um, 30 evens level also seeing a volume imbalance here at the 26 halves so I'm expecting lower prices Expecting sell side to be delivered. Trade through the volume imbalance. Looks like it wants to bounce. We deliver internal range liquidity. I'm also, my eyes are on this order block down here. Okay, let's see if we trade to the order block. No, it looks like it wants to just straight turtle soup and bounce the volume imbalance or, or really the top of this order block over here around 
our low came in. Our low came in at 23 halves, and our high, the order block here, came in at 23 three quarters. So we're within a tick there. So now I'm expecting probably higher prices. I don't love it though. Our price is starting to get very congested, so I'm not going to take a trade here. I'm expecting higher prices. Still expecting higher prices. And it looks like we probably missed a trade here. There was there was a trade off this bounce, at least to internal range liquidity up at 44. Uh, this topped out at 44 halves. Yeah, 44 halves. So we missed we missed a trade there for sure. We missed a trade. Okay, and now we're expecting. Still looking for higher prices. Okay, we're wrong about that. Now we're coming to the mean threshold of this order block. Let's see if it wants to bounce that order block. No. Looks like we're going into sell side. We're going deep into sell side. That order block that I mentioned down here, we're seeing it. We're seeing it come up to fruition. Let's see if it wants to bounce it. We're going to know pretty quickly. Dip below the order block. Let's see if it wants to bounce. Yes, there it is right there. So we bounce that order block here. And at this point, I'm thinking higher prices. At this point, I'm thinking there's a lot of flattening highs up here. So a lot of equal highs up here. At this point, I'm thinking that probably wants to be swept. At this point, I'm thinking higher prices. We bounce the mean threshold of this order block over here around the 21 evens. Okay, so we're going to purchase. We're going to buy. Let's see if we're wrong. Does it want more sell side? It kind of looks like it might want more sell side. I'm not closing this out yet, though. Not closing it out. It's, could still bounce. And at this point, I'm getting pretty nervous about this trade. Might be wrong. Okay, we're wrong. So we're going to take a loss. What's our next level we're looking to get long at? Looking to get long at probably the down here. Now, we do have equal lows. So... You know, there's some juicy sell side down here. Okay. At this point, we're looking for a bounce. We're looking for it to bounce off this order block here at the bottom. Okay, coming into the order block. Let's see if we get a bounce. Yep, we're getting a bounce off the order block here down at 507 even. So we came down literally, I mean, we, we absolutely fucking nailed the, uh, the mean threshold of this order block. I mean, I mean, look at that. To the tick, basically. So we're going to long this now. Now we're long and we're looking for higher prices. We're looking for potentially all these equal highs up here, external range liquidity. That's kind of greed. Our first target's going to be internal range liquidity. It's going to be up at 20, 28 evens. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if our bounce can continue. Yep, okay, now we're doing well. We'd move our stop into profit. But uh, I'm trading a replay here. I'm not hiding that from y'all. This is a replay. I already traded live this session. I did make a profit, but this is really only for my own practice. Okay, we deliver internal range liquidity up at 28 evens. And it looks like it kind of wants to sell that off. Does it want to sell that off? No. Okay, so we push through internal range liquidity. We want turtle soup that? No. Okay, now I'm looking up here. Now I'm looking at the next internal range liquidity, 48 3 quarters. 48 3 quarters is what we're looking for. But it could also, so we have a rejection block here. The rejection blocks are not my personal favorite pattern. I don't. I don't think that they work out so often. But when, especially on the Nasdaq, because Nasdaq really likes to deliver. Um, Nasdaq wants to deliver. Um, ES is much more, I think, range bound, and it's going to have more failure to delivers. But NQ slides a lot more, and so it, it's going to deliver those new new highs, new lows more often than not. Okay, so we're looking at our consequent encroachment. Or sorry, mean threshold. We're looking to see if it... Yeah, okay, so we... At this point, we rejected this... Uh, came up to what looks like the... Then with all these PD arrays, we're looking at 25% levels as well. So, yeah. So we came up and we 
got up a quarter of the way, 25% of the way of this rejection block, and now we are bouncing down. So I'm going to close that position. Okay. Could have been a premature close. We'll see. This point, not saying anything I want. All right, we're coming back down. And what do we see here? So bounced off. Going to remove all these drawings, reset. Bounced off the um, <clears throat> mean th Looks like we're trying to bounce this order block. We went well past the mean threshold. I mean, it really yeah, basically came down into the lows of this order block, and then it bounced. So at this point, I'm expecting higher prices. So we're getting long again. Might have been too aggressive. And OK, we're going to take a loss. OK, so what did we do here? So where did this bounce come from? So this bounce came down into this fair value gap right here and bounced. We bounced off this fair value gap, so at this point I'm expecting at least internal range liquidity to be delivered, so we're going to buy again. Here we go. All right, we delivered internal range liquidity. Now let's see if we want to get up into some external. I think that answer is going to be Right now it looks like no. All right, we're going to swash trade that. This could still very well bounce. We're coming back down into the rejection block. So this rejection block here, coming down into it. Mean threshold, rejection block. Let's see if it wants to bounce that. No. Deliver internal range sell side liquidity. Coming down into the lower rejection block. So if it wants to pop off that, it looks like it might want to pop off that. Okay, we're down at the mean threshold of the rejection block down here. Let's see if it wants to bounce that. Nope, we deliver strong sell side liquidity. So at this point, we're in external range sell side liquidity. So I'm looking down at the mean threshold of this order block. I'm looking at the purple line. Let's see if we bounce that. It looks like we do bounce that. So I'm going to get long. So we bounce the mean threshold of this order block. Uh, after delivering sell side liquidity, so now we're long. Let's see what price wants to do here. Does it want to keep bouncing or keep going lower? Okay, looks like we're headed for lower prices. Might have been a little bit of an aggressive entry on the first bounce. It's continuing to try and bounce. I don't want to get out of this position just yet because we're seeing it come down into another order block. Bounce, bounce. This order block down here, by the way, is what I'm referring to. My eyes are on that. Okay. Here we go. Trading up, trading up. We bounce, bounce. Looking for a bounce. Okay. Higher prices. We have what ICT would refer to here as a market structure shift. So we see a short term. This is going to be a bullish market structure shift, and so basically we're looking at a short-term low that was broken to the upside, and so at this point we're expecting higher prices. We have a fair value gap that we're trading through, and it's considering whether it wants to come back down and test the market structure shift. At this point, so we have a tiny order block here. Let's see if it wants to hold that. I'm getting nervous with the trade that I'm holding, thinking about closing it out. Okay, at this point we're going to close it out. That could have been a premature close. See if it wants to come test. Bang. Okay, so we do we did get out at a good time. And what are we looking at here? So we wick down into this. This is a four candle order block. And the mean threshold would be somewhere around here. So we're it's trying to bounce that. It's trying to bounce. Let's see if it wants to wants to bounce waffling right now We're coming down to the consequent encroachment of this long wick candle okay looks like it wants to trade it trade through the low of that order block and now we're bouncing it looks like it wants to close around the three quarters mark 
of that order block I highlighted. So at this point, I'm thinking long. I'm thinking long. Okay, so we're going to go long. Let's see if we're wrong. Could have been an ambitious long. We've got another level down here. Okay. And. Okay, and we're going to close that. So, this is up to the current time. It's going to let price play out to Okay.